Hi, I'm Louise Fletcher and I help artists to find their own unique creative voice and today I want to share with you one of the ways I do that which is to help artists explore their own personal use of colour and in this case using neutrals from a limited palette. How do we create beautiful neutrals that actually make the rest of our colours really sing? Let's go have a look. Here I've got three primaries, red, blue and yellow. If I mix red and yellow, I'm going to get orange. If I mix blue and yellow, I'm going to go towards greens. And if I mix blue and red, I'm going to go towards like a lilac -y colour. If we want to make a neutral, any combination of complements will make a neutral. Complements will always dull each other down and complements are colours that are opposite each other on the colour wheel. So we've got green there. If I now pop a little bit of red in, because red is the complement, it's going to take, you see, it's dulled down the greenness of that and turned it into brown. If I want that to go more towards grey, I'm going to put some more blue in and I'm going to keep and sometimes to see what color you mix in it helps to put some white in so it's still going towards green so I'm now sludging it down and look we're getting like this khaki color can you see like a we're getting this neutral brown but it's more gray than this because it's got more blue in it What I want this video to encourage you to do is to encourage you to play around with what greys and browns you can make from just three primary colours because too often we go off buying tubes of paint, tubes of grey and tubes of brown which is utterly unnecessary when you can mix them from your own colours but the only way to learn what your colours are capable of is to actually do this, sit and mix colours and see what happens. So we have gone from that, just by putting red in the complement, we've gone right over to this and some white where I lightened it. But the, the, we went right over to this before we even added white and I added some more blue to get to this and then some white to get to that. So let's try another one. So we've got this orange that I mixed up here. The orange is the yellow and the red. Now the complement of yellow and red is blue. That's our bright orange that we've mixed. Lovely, lovely color of orange. So now to carry on with adding my blue. See how it's already made that all muddy. Now, muddy isn't necessarily bad. You might want muddy colours, but it's knowing that this is happening that's the important thing. So now it's even more of the blue has gone into the orange and we're getting close. Now remember, these are the same three colours. So we should come up with basically, depends what combination I use, but we're going to come up with basically the same. I'm going to put a bit of white in to see what we've got. So you can see it's going quite greeny as the blue mingles with the orange. And let's put even more blue in, a bit more white so we can see what we've got. And now we've taken that orange to this. But what I want to say about that is that they look so good together. All these colours will look so good together. And you can make the bright orange and the bright green look amazing by adding these neutrals next to them. Some yellow crayon on, red crayon. Do a little thing of this. Yeah, it's just all very lovely, vibrant colour. But there's a lot of it, right? And it get, it could start to get, if I now come and put some yellow along here, you might be like, oh, give me a break. You know, too much. But now if I've mixed up this nice light neutral, I'm going to paint on this little scrap of paper. Now, do you see how that is helping to set those off? because they look so good when they're next to that grey. If we added that grey also, that same grey here, up the side, 
if I put a darker grey there, do you see how as I make that more neutral, this orange and yellow really get to pop? We get to decide where we want you to look by where we place neutrals and bright colours. That's one of the ways we get to decide. So as I dull down every other bright colour in this and just basically muddy them up, you look more and more over here. But I could go here and I could make those two really zing. I'd need to cover that up then. So I come here, cover that up with a brownie sludgy colour. And now you're looking at these two because these are the brightest. So why is this important? This really helps you when you want to make the focal point in a painting because you want to showcase things. And this is how you can showcase things. This is one of the ways that you can showcase things. So do you see, that was a, a kind of terrible little painting that was showing you the colour contrast on, but I wanted to just have a quick thing to demonstrate that bright colour against neutrals, that is one of the ways that you can kind of highlight bright colour. If everything's bright, we're kind of, ah, too much, but when you bring some neutrals in, then we have somewhere for our eyes to rest and somewhere to look at the zingy parts. And if you mix your neutral from just black and white, it's not going to tie in with the rest of the painting. It's going to be boring. But when you use all of your colours to create neutrals, then you create harmony and also interest at the same time. So I hope this has been helpful. Don't forget to sign up for my artist newsletter, which is absolutely packed with things like this. So if you're not already on the list, just have a look for the link in the description to this video and uh, join us. And also, of course, subscribe, like and comment because that really helps me on YouTube. Okay, bye.